All right, good afternoon, Web School. This afternoon, we are going to go over some of the changes in the handbook this year. You can read the handbook via the website, and if you have trouble finding it, send me an email and I can send you that link. But it's also, the link is with the newsletter every Thursday. All right, so. All right, so a couple things about attendance. Miss James, her new office is in Rand, just uh, basically just right next to the dining hall. You go through that, those doors just before you go up the stairs in Rand. Uh, her office is right there. Anytime you are late to school or anytime you are leaving early or if you're going downtown for lunch and coming back, you need to sign in and sign out. I guess it would be you need to sign out and then sign in with Miss James. If you miss one of the health checks in the morning, so you, you know, you're running five, ten minutes late, go to Miss James. She can temp check you and give you a bracelet. All right, so anytime you're late, you go see her and she can take care of you. All right, one change in the handbook is that everyone is getting three unexcused absences this year. So it's on, if you're following along, I don't know if any of you are following along in the handbook, but if you are, like Will Taylor is, I can see him right now. Um, on page five, the first three unexcused absence from any class period or day will result in a formal warning. So you'll get a formal warning after your third and then on your fourth unexcused is when you would receive the demerit. All right, so you, you will receive three unexcused absences this year. All right, so that's one of the major changes to the handbook. If you need a special leave slip, all right, for any reason, you can either come to my office in uh, the student center or you can see Ms. Sullins in the Bradley building. All right, either one of us can give you those special leave slips. All right, detention. All right, detention is replacing work crew this year. And if you're following along, it's on page 16 of the handbook. So if you receive a demerit, that will equal four hours of detention. All right, in the past, a demerit has equaled six hours of work crew. This year, one demerit is going to equal four hours of detention. It's going to be Saturday night from 6 to 10 instead of Saturday morning starting at 8. So it's a, it's a Saturday night detention if you are unfortunate and receive a demerit this year. And that will be announced when if you um, if you are, if you have to serve detention, you will receive an email saying the location. Many times it will be in the science lecture room in Davis Woosley. You may, and you may defer one detention without penalty each semester. All right, so merits. We started this a couple, a couple years ago here at Webb. We are, um, putting a little more um, emphasis on it this year. And uh, the merit section is on page 21. And the big change with merits this year is if you receive five of them, it can wipe off the four hours of detention. All right, so if you, know, you make a mistake, you get a detention, but you have accumulated some merits, if you have five merits, then that can wipe off that detention. The, the, the merit still stays on your record, but you won't have to do the time served. All right, dress code, uh, which starts on page 24. The biggest change with dress code this year, and I think some of you already, already know this, we are having two days of semi-casual dress instead of just one. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, basically cha chapel days, it's formal dress. 
Advisory days, Tuesdays and Thursdays, is semi-casual dress. Okay, restricted area. Uh, so remember, this is something that I, I feel like the last three years we've had to announce on a fairly regular basis in the beginning of the year. You know, day students, you are not allowed in the dorms during the academic day. If you want to visit a friend after school or on the weekends, the, day, the boarding student must get permission from their dorm parents. Overnights must be communicated as well. All right, so if a day student wants to spend the night in a dorm, then uh, that parent needs to communicate either with myself or the dorm parent of that dorm. And remember, non-web guests are never allowed in the dorms. All that can be found on page 33. All right, those are the major changes this year in the handbook. If you are new, you should all go and read the handbook. Uh, it's, it's on the website. You should familiarize yourself with that. So if you have some free time, try to read that handbook. Um, it talks, it has, it has an academic section in it, student life section, a, a small little discipline section, um, after school, requirements in there as well so that usually if you need to know something that's a good place to go all right I have a couple other things I want to talk about I want to talk about student activities real quick Ruth that's a picture of curling so many of you have come to the student center already uh, you noticed that we have three new game tables in the student center we have an air hockey table, foosball, and shuffleboard. Shuffleboard is very similar to curling to some degree. Um, we also have a bunch of outdoor games available as well. You can ask Ms. Campbell or myself if you want to play one of those. Uh, spike ball, ladder golf, um, things like that. So feel free to uh, you know, spend some time with, with those games. Ms. Campbell, after this meeting, is going to blast out an email with, with Google Docs for the week end activities this weekend. And so every week, she will send, the, send that Google Doc your way. If you want to sign up for one of the activities that are going on that weekend, please fill that out on the Google Doc. Um, for example, this weekend, here are some of the offerings that are, that are this weekend. There may be a couple others. Uh, but for now, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, those are the offerings this weekend. And if you want to sign up for one, like I said, uh, Ms. Campbell will send that doc your way. All right. A couple, another announcement. Two other announcements from Ms. Campbell while I'm here. Anytime you have an idea for an activity, feel free to email her. If any of you want to host family feud in the future in chapel or if you want to do a chapel talk please email miss campbell um, just like last year if you had an announcement all right you have an announcement for chapel you send that to chapel at webschool.com so just sign into your email address you have something you have to say send that announcement to chapel at webschool.com and we will get that running for you. And I have one other quick announcement, and this is from Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn, he gave me permission to say this, so. Mr. Quinn says he may be an old paranoid geezer, but he wants to remind all of you that vaping is not allowed especially in the restrooms. All right, so that should go without saying, and there's a whole section of that in the handbook that you can read on your own. But yes, vaping is not allowed at school. <coughs> and it's uh, very unhealthy as well. So 
Please do not partake in that. Ms. Sullins, do you have any announcements? Cy Nash, happy birthday. I also believe it's Hunter Howell's birthday as well. Um, so if you, he's a new seventh grade boarding student this year. If you, say, if you see him, um, please say happy birthday as well. Anything else from the uh, peanut gallery in here? Nothing? This is your big chance. All right. But once again, please read the handbook when you, have, when you have some time. You really need to familiarize yourself with that. And have a great rest of the week. Great day to be afoot.